Next up in physics is cooking and communicating using waves. Now this topic is basically just about microwaves and the uh, fact that we use them for both mobile phones and for cooking our food. So let's start by looking at microwaves then. Microwaves have quite a big range of wavelengths. They range from one millimeter to 30 centimeters. Now the one millimeter ones have got much higher energy and those are the ones that we use in microwave ovens. And the microwaves that are near 30 centimetres long, those are the waves that we use for communicating with mobile phones. They're less energetic. So even though we use microwaves for both jobs, we use different types of microwaves. So the more dangerous ones for cooking our food and the less dangerous ones for communicating, which is a good thing, really, considering where most people keep their mobile phones. So the way that mobile phones work is that the microwaves are, in essence, bounced off satellites to connect mobile phones. So they are um, reflected off the microwave, off the satellite. The microwaves get reflected off the satellite so that they go back to the phone that we're interested in. And the transmitter and the receiver have got to be in what we call line of sight. So basically you have to be able to draw a straight line with nothing in between it between the two things that are transmitting and receiving, which is why we use the satellites, because they're very easy to get a signal that goes up nice and high. But if I want to send a signal without going off a satellite, there has got to be a straight line between the transmitter and the receiver, with no buildings or mountains or anything in the way. So that's why uh, aerials, which receive these signals, are often at the top of tall buildings. So the bad things about mobile phones, Bad weather can scatter mobile phone signals, so they don't always work in bad weather. The curvature of the Earth limits the line of sight for signals, so we can only send them so far without using a satellite. Because the Earth bends, we can't really get a straight line for all that far, really. Uh, another con, mobile phones can interfere with sensitive equipment, so you can't use them in hospitals. And there are also concerns about the impact of mobile phone masts on local populations. There are also concerns about the, the use of mobile phones and the effect that they would have on people, especially young people. The problem we have is that we haven't been using them long enough for us to collect any data to show if there is a problem or not. Now, at the moment, the bulk of the really good studies, so studies that have got lots of people in them, that have been repeated, that are not biased, do show that there is negligible effect from mobile phones so they don't really impact on health at all however it's not a foregone conclusion because we haven't done any really long-term studies so there is still space for debate on the subject but unless you've got a really good scientific research you can't make an argument and what makes good research is lots of people in the study um, having uh, things that are repeatable and studies that aren't funded by people with a bias. So for instance, a study funded by a mobile phone company is probably not going to be one you can really trust. Okay, so that's it for uh, mobile phones. Um, we're on to microwaves now. Real short and sweet this. So um, conventional ovens heat using infrared radiation. So they, it gets absorbed at the surface, then the heat gets conducted through the material or it can cause convection which also transfers the heat energy. So conventional ovens rely on conduction and convection for transferring the heat. So if you're cooking something big it takes longer because the heat has to travel through the middle of it. In a microwave oven the microwaves can penetrate into the food so they travel a few centimeters in straight away and they instantly cause those um, molecules to heat up well, it's particularly the water molecule, what they do is they make them vibrate, give them lots of kinetic energy. And if you remember, I said that kinetic energy of atoms looks like heat. So if we, make, if we give the atoms lots of energy, then they'll get hot. So the microwaves can heat up a few centimetres in all at once, which is why you tend not want to have really big things in the microwave oven, because you can only heat the first few centimetres by the microwaves, and then it has to go by conduction anyway same as with a conventional oven. Now uh, microwave ovens have got all around the inside a metal grid. Now the metal grid is 
sort of a few centimeters apart so they're designed so that they have got gaps in them so you can see through but the mesh is of a size that the microwaves can't pass through because light is smaller than microwaves it can get through but the microwaves can't so it keeps us safe and that's why there is that metal grid inside the glass of the microwave so it's not just that they're you know trying to make it hard to see your food they're trying to stop you getting microwaved because the microwaves inside microwave ovens are dangerous they could cook you that's what they do so that's the difference between microwave ovens and uh, or the microwaves used in microwave ovens and the microwaves used for mobile phones it's all about how much energy they've got so mobile phone microwaves low energy high wavelength not dangerous microwaves used in microwave ovens are a low wavelength high frequency high energy and they are dangerous and that's the difference okay so that's it for this topic remember if you've got any questions don't forget to ask